Hey everybody, welcome back to my sewing channel. I'm Raven Maureen and today we're going to be making Vogue 1923. I love this pattern and so um, when I saw it in the store, I immediately wanted to pick it up. So I'm not even going to hold you guys. I want to go ahead and get started. But first, let me just tell you about a quick modification that I made. So on the back here, you'll see that there is a uh, illustration for the leotard. I actually left that off and what I did was I redrafted the front and back pieces to reflect a just a t-shirt like curved bottom hem. So I went ahead and did that. I kind of feature a little bit of that in the video but most of this is just the sew along. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you at the end. Okay so we're going to be working on view B which is the long sleeve version. And um, as I shared in the intro, we are going to be redrafting that bottom piece um, and turning it from a bodysuit into a shirt. So I used some dotted paper to simply retrace um, the sides, the arms, or the arm side, and the top part. And what I did was I simply took the sides from the front piece and the back piece and I lined those up just making sure that I had uh, those pieces even. And then at the bottom of those pieces, I did a slight curved hem instead of the bodysuit with the gusset. So now we're going to move on to the pattern instructions and so go ahead and stay stitched between the large, large dot and the center. Clip to the dot without snipping through the thread. With right sides together, stitch to the dot on each side of both bodices. Once that is finished, serge your edges and then we'll move on to our sleeves. Okay, now we're going to move on to the dart in our sleeve. So you want to make sure that we stitch that down. And I use a see-through ruler to mark my dart legs. It's extremely helpful. And then I use a soluble marker to do that. And then I'm just going to take this to the machine and do that on both sides. Okay, so once that is done, Press the darts to the outer edge. The double notches on each side of the sleeves will be a great indicator for this. Next, we are going to sew down both sleeves. You might have to do some adjusting for this if you like your sleeves tighter. I know I did that. So I've already stitched one sleeve into the bodice. We're going to do this to the other side, putting right sides together, pin the sleeve to the armhole, matching up the seams and the notches. And then we're gonna take this to our sewing machine and we will sew this up at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. At this point, this is what your bodice should look like. We're going to move on to pattern piece number four. Using the dots as markers, make two rows of gathering stitches on the straight side, and it should be one continuous stitch. And then on the curved side, you'll have two sets of stitches that you'll need to make. Okay, so using pattern piece number six as your guide, cut out six pieces of hem tape Use the dot markings from that pattern piece to mark the strips. We will be using these to gather the sides of the band. So set these aside as we continue to work on this part. So now that those are cut, take pattern piece number four and gather your rows on each side, paying close attention to the dots. The gathers should be the length of the hem tape. You'll complete this step for both pattern piece number fours and pattern piece number five. Pin the hem tape to the gathers and take this to your machine and complete a zigzag stitch. Again, we'll do this for both pattern pieces number four, which are your two front pieces, and number five, which is the back piece. Next, we are going to take pattern piece number five, the back piece, and lay it in front of you 
with the right side down. You're going to take pattern piece number four and pin those to either side of pattern piece number five, matching the seams and the notches. And then do a zigzag stitch on both sides. Now that all of these are connected, you should see the band forming together. With right sides together, fold the band in half and then stitch along that edge all the way to the dot on both sides. I'm deviating from the Vogue instructions and I'm going to clip in at both dots, never going through the thread. And then I'm going to turn this right side out and you'll see that you have a finished edge and then you also have a raw edge. So we are going to sew along this raw edge and you'll sew along the shorter raw edges as well. So make sure you pin all those together and we're going to do a 5 eighths of an inch zigzag seam allowance. Okay, we're almost at the end. Take your bodice and lay it in front of you with the right side facing up. Take your band piece and place the back piece behind the back bodice. Then using pins or clips, start pinning the band to the bodice matching notches and seams all the way around the top. And you wanna pay extra close attention to the front bodice piece where we clipped in that dot in the very beginning. And then also make sure that you take the raw edges toward the lower side edge where we left the seams open in the beginning. Go ahead and take the raw edges and sew those to the side first to stabilize the sides. And then what you want to do is you want to start on the top part of your band, making sure that you're still adding up all the notches and dots together. Next, you want to sew up your sides, do your hem finishes, and you're all done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I cannot wait to see your designs. I'll see you next time. Bye.